Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about configuration of SS4 using Google API. Let's get started. So go to Google and search for this Google API console login and click on this link and here you sign in with your Gmail ID that you want to test. Once you're logged in, here uh, you have to create a project. Here I have created a project called as uh, Zmart. Here you can click on new project. This is the sample project I am using it. Click create. Once you have uh, created the project, select on this. This is the activity recommendations and this is the project info. Here I am going to OAuth consent screen. Okay. In OAuth consent screen, I have to select user type as external because we are hitting from external application and click on create. And here you have to give your app name. Suppose uh, ours is Zmart application. This email is nothing but your Gmail ID. If you want to give some logo, you can give this and scroll down. And here for any updates, you have to give the same Gmail ID that you are using. Save and continue. And here I am selecting scopes. These three scopes. You have to click on this add or remove scopes. I have selected email, profile and open id. And scroll down, click update. Once I have given the scope, I need to save clean, continue. And here, if you want to add any test users, you can add it. For now, I am just going ahead. Now, I have created this uh, OAuth consent screen. Now I will go for credentials tab and in this credentials tab I will click on this create credentials so we would be provided with a username and password so here I am selecting OAuth client ID here I have to select the application type in the application type I am selecting web application this client name and this Authorized uh, redirect URLs. I will be telling you soon about that. Click create. So, this is uh, our client created one. So, copy this in a notepad plus plus. Once you have created this, click OK. After this, you have to switch to your Pega portal. And here you go to App Studio. In App Studio, you can see user symbol over here. Click users, and you can see authentication. You can click on this add authentication and select Google over here. Create new Google and uh, provide some name like sample or and here in client id the ids that are generated uh, in our developer console we have to give those and here i am giving as email and select this create operators for new users and uh, give access role i want to give a users role for this and you can see here right one URL, copy this URL, go back to OAuth client IDs, edit OAuth client ID, scroll down, in this authorized redirect URIs, click add URI, paste this, save this, now go back to App Studio, once you have given this, click submit, so. 
you can see this auth service is enabled now if you go here you can uh, copy the url or if you want to configure something you can configure this if you want to disable uh, few authentications you can go this if you want to delete it you can delete it now to test this i will be going in a new private window and i am using this url if you see here this is our pega login page if you scroll down you can see right login with zmata for sample auth i am clicking on this once you clicked in you can see google login page uh, give you your uh, credentials see after authentication we directly taken us to pega user portal zmart user portal you can check that this profile see this is our gmail id that we have used in this way you can configure sso open authentication id hope you have learned a new concept in pega today have a try on this OAuth authentication screen and uh, share your feedback in the comments. Thanks for watching. Happy learning. Please watch, share and subscribe to my channel and turn on bell notification for latest videos.